the algorithm is smarter than you and smarter than me and smarter than all of us, and it will catch you. Yes, we are live. What is happening? Sean Malone here, CSO of the Sales Ascenders. Happy Taco Tuesday. We are currently in Salt Lake City. We were taking a trip just for those of you who are following us, what we're doing here. We took off uh, to go on a fly fishing adventure through uh, Northern California and Oregon, Washington. And unfortunately, the fires uh, destroyed our entire plans for our trip. We had to cancel everything. Um, and then divert to kind of our second option, which ended up, uh, we've driven like 30 some hours in the past three days, which has been insane. Uh, but we're here in a uh, park city, Utah, come fly fishing here. So there's a bunch of gold metal water that we're going to be going to. So I'm super excited. And that's why we build businesses, right? So we can get the freedom to do things that we want to do. So if you're in that place and you're grinding right now, uh, we've been there. We understand that. Just keep moving forward. Keep paying attention. Keep listening. Keep learning because your skill sets grow, right? We always say it's mind work, skill work, and then network. And if you grow in that order, so you got to grow your mind first. You got to be the person you want to be. Then you got to get the skills you need to have in order to achieve the things that you're trying to get to. And then, of course, growing your network by connecting with more people so that you can share the message, share your wealth, and help create bigger impact. That's the secret. So let's just jump right into it today. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Today, Logan asks this. He said, Sean, uh, would you recommend creating another page so that you can get approved into competitors groups to check on what other people are doing? And the answer is absolutely not. Do this um, for, for a number of reasons. The first and main most important reason why this is not probably the best idea is simply because the algorithm at Facebook is smarter than any of us could ever be, right? It's a, it's a, um, uh, automated bot that's continually smart enhancing itself and it will be able to determine if you're using the same name same images same number same address same anything if you duplicate like your personal profile and you use this one um, to go hunting into competitors groups to just check on what they're doing and maybe see how they're marketing I think you know doing marketing research is definitely an advisable and intelligent thing to do but creating a secondary like kind of uh, shadow as we'll call it is is a poor idea because the algorithm is smarter than you and smarter than me and smarter than all of us and it will catch you and when it does what it happens is it will lock down both of your accounts so if if this is the case and over here this is your main profile well guess what this one that you worked for for so long so hard it will just disappear and then you're stuck at zero and literally it's going to take practically a new identity to climb back onto Facebook. So the first reason I would say this is not a good idea is because the algorithm is going to say absolutely no. Uh, it will recognize it. You might get away with it for a little while, but then um, the algorithm will catch up to you. Now, I personally know this because it happened to us um, because we were at a stage when we first started online. I remember one of the things that we were doing is we were advertising play at the time we were marketing um, a, uh, a lifestyle marketing automation system that we had created and it was working really well but Facebook um, decided that we were going like they continued to, to adjust their policies and then they adjusted their policies where then our marketing went outside of their policies and then they ended up putting the ban hammer and smashing our account down. Um, so that happened a couple of times as they continue adjusting their policies and they'll always adjust policies. So just be aware of that. And it's okay that they do that. Like it's the landscape. So we as users have to understand as a social platform, like that's what it is. It's a social platform to have conversations with other people um, and to find good opportunity and help others to make their impact. That's why social media really exists. And of course, to keep up with your friends and family and other things like that. Um, great tool for business. Obviously, that's why we all play here. But um, the algorithm is smart. That's the number one reason why we shouldn't do this. The second reason is, is like your audience is going to get confused if they come and they do a search on your name in social media and they say, hey, look, wait, wait, why is there, why is there two? What, what's going on here? There's these two things. Um, then they'll be confused and immediately it triggers uh, that, that mechanism of, uh oh, I don't know if this is legit or not. So the second reason that you should do this is confusion, right? So, so first one is algorithm. Second one is confusion. And third one is time management. Time management is going to crush you if you have multiple personal identities on a platform of any sort, whether it be any one of them, when you're trying to manage more than just one, uh, it really, it, it takes a lot of time. And what we're all trying to work for and work towards here is building a systemized version of a business 
where you could truly impact a lot of people and do so without taking your time, right? Because the only limited resource that we all have, and I'll continue preaching this because it's so true, is time. We all have 24 hours in a day. That's it. So if that's our only, if, if, if that's the limiting factor in our productivity capabilities, then we need to very, very closely watch and monitor how and where and when and why we're spending the time to do what we do. And so having an additional personal profile, what that has done for you is just created a boatload of more work. Now, you can do it this way if you get by, again, if you get through the algorithm and you get through um, you know, the, the efficiency and everything else, if you get to this time thing, um, now you can either go hire somebody to do it for you or again, and then that that's false in itself, um, or you're doing it yourself, which is going to take a bunch of your time. So those are the three big reasons why I would uh, choose not to do this. And in general, like check this out. If you are going to go into your competitor's space in their group, um, it's, it's, it's okay to do marketing research. But don't cross the unethical line of going into a competitor's group to like hunt for new opportunity for your business, right? Um, the, the, the thing that we teach is find something that's complementary to what you're doing. For example, if you're in the health space, let's say you're teaching um, online gym. Uh, let's, say, let's say you're teaching trainers how to build an online gym program or something like that. Easy example. And we're looking at places of where we can go find pockets of people that are going to be a good fit for our program so we can impact them and get them into the online space so they can do the thing they're trying to do and help them make impact. Well, what I would do is I would go find a complementary group, not a competing group, right? So there's competing, which you know what a competitor is, and then there's a complementary group. So let me explain that. The complementary group is going to be um, the, the group that is literally um, has the same pocket of people that you would serve but serving them for a different purpose. So if you're in that gym space and you're working with trainers to go to an online course, for example, then the better move is to go find an equipment manufacturer that services the trainers that you're trying to you know, look for. And those people are gonna be served by buying equipment from that group, but you get in because guess what? You know about the equipment anyways, because that's you're in the space. And now you can start an easy mutual conversation about, hey, like you're in this group to learn about equipment, like what are you doing with the equipment? And all of a sudden you can start this conversation that gets pretty powerful because it's a complementary thing to what you're doing, but it's the same market. So it's the same people. Russell Brunson, our coach, always teaches us. He says, listen, go your 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 job as a professional salesperson, as a professional marketer, as a professional business owner is not necessarily to create the traffic. Nobody can create the traffic. The only thing that we can do is we can find where the congregation hangs out. Think of churches as an analogy for a second. All the people with the same religion go to the same congregation, the same building of church. Now, if that's a complementary group of people that you want to serve, then going to that church makes sense to strike up some conversation, right? And talking to new people is a good thing, right? That's why we do what we do is to help create impact and serve. And so in, in the church world, the congregation of who you're trying to serve, all of this religion is going to be hanging out in this congregation. And if that's your audience, you should go there, right? Same way as online, right? If, if you know, for example, we'll go back to the same analogy. If you're teaching people that are personal trainers to become uh, like online course creators, then the move is literally to go to like, what's the equipment that, that's gonna be used in your program, then maybe go find a group that focuses on that and strike up a conversation there saying, hey, you just got this equipment. What are you gonna do with it? Oh, you're trying to build a course. You should probably check out my thing, right? And then all of a sudden now it's a casual invite. It was an, a mutual interaction, which is easy, right? And that's fun and it's a great conversation and it'll help. So um, that's really what I would share on this topic. Again, I would never create another um, personal profile simply because of those couple of things I mentioned earlier, biggest one being the algorithm will catch you and shut you down. Um, and then some time management issues, of course. Uh, so with that said, uh, I hope that helps you today. Happy Taco Tuesday. Maybe this is giving you some new ideas on how to grow and share and, and increase how you're serving and who you're serving. Um, but again, the secret here today, I would say, is don't go into a, a competitor's group to look for opportunity because that's crossing an, uh, an ethical line that we never talk about, we should never do, we should never even like cross or breach that. And I know people do, and that's just what it is. But again, if you wanna sleep well at night 
don't go into a competitor's group looking for business. Um, rather, if you're doing competitive intelligence, totally okay and cool. Um, but then the focus is let's go find a complementary group to what you do that serves the same group of people that you're trying to serve. That is the secret. And I hope that helps you today. I love your face and I will see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Talk to you guys later. Have a great week. Happy selling. Go fight, win. Talk soon. Thank you.